Hi YouTube, Nicole here. It's been a while since I've made a video. I thought I would check in with you. Um, part of the reason why I'm not making um, as frequent videos is basically because I've hit maintenance. I've been sitting there for quite some time now and um, you know there's not much to report in my monthly weigh-ins and that type of thing. Um, I have switched to more like a weekly weigh-in. Um, I still don't have a scale in my home. Uh, whatever. Um, I sit, um, the lowest I've ever gone is 140 pounds. My original weight was 380 before surgery and um, when I began my nutrition program and then 359 on the day of surgery. So um, I've lost basically 240 pounds, 238. Um, I kind of bounce around um, between 142 and 145. Uh, I, I like being more like 140, 142. My nutritionist wants me to weigh like 155, 160. Um, I don't want to weigh that. So I feel comfortable where I'm at and I keep uh, my uh, routine of what I eat to be um, uh, pretty much the same. Uh, I'm kind of scatterbrained today. I have a couple things to report, um, things I think that are important. I um, am enjoying maintenance. I uh, do not stress out about what the scale says one day or whatever. I will tell you the first time the numbers went up, I had a little freak out there and um, sat down with my girlfriend and she's like, but they want you to gain weight. So um, I was like, okay, it was probably just whatever, a day I had too much salt or a day I hadn't gone to the bathroom, who knows? And so I don't believe in this weighing daily and freaking out about what the number says and to be honest with you if you do that um, you're driving yourself crazy and you're driving me crazy watching and listening to it on Facebook and YouTube and that so I don't do it but that's me I go on how it feels on my body and um, how I'm feeling that day that being said I do need to share um, uh, two things first of all Though I'm not um, going to be doing YouTube videos as often as I used to, not that I won't do them, especially if you guys request a certain thing, a recipe or whatever, I would certainly do it. Um, I have started a blog. Um, I had a couple people mention, you know, why don't I do that? I have a girlfriend back from high school who uh, basically was getting on me because I've never written the book. <laughs> I um, surprisingly won um, best writer in high school and I think it was more like a popularity contest at the time but I did write in the journalism class for the newspaper and I was like the dear Abby of my high school and I did it with another girl um, who was my girlfriend and I, I do enjoy writing I like poetry and and I you know um, do kind of have a gift for words so uh, I've decided to blog instead of vlog so that website um, basically is http colon front slash front slash and then it's my um, uh, sapphire at 1964 which you can see me all over whenever I uh, YouTube it's the same so S is in Sam, A is in Apple, P is in Paul, H is in hello, R is in red, E is in elephant 1964 you know how old I am um, dot blog spot dot com front slash and so that's where you'll find me for the most part I only have 15 followers um, I know I have like almost 500 on YouTube and if you are subscribing recently to me on YouTube I don't know why but I that's great I, I love it um, but uh, that's where you'll see me um, more than anything is on my blog now is I've decided to go more written about my stuff um, and what I'm going through in my journey um, as I'm in maintenance now. Um, that being said, um, you might notice that I'm a little pale. And uh, as we all know, I'm uh, now coming up on my, or those of you that have followed me, I'm coming up on my two year anniversary from surgery on 5-11 of 09. And I, um, as those of you who have followed me also know, I am pretty much a rule follower when it comes to the protein and the drinking and um, what kind of foods I put in my body and how I'm healthy and I do my vitamin supplements and my nutrient supplements and, and I'm um, uh, uh, meticulous about it. 
I had a big fear and one of the reasons why I did not want to have weight loss surgery to begin with was because of my fear of iron absorption and having iron infusions. Before I went and donated blood, I double checked with my program and said, you know, I'm almost two years out. Is it okay if I donate blood? I want to donate whole blood. And they're like, oh yeah, no problem. Go right ahead. Well, guess what, folks? There is a problem. And it was not smart of me to do it. Um, I almost passed out during the transfusion, um, or the donation, I should say. And ever since that time, I've been having issues, um, especially late in the afternoon, of dizziness, fainting, fast heart rate, and um, not feeling okay. And so I had mentioned it on Facebook like right after the first time it happened when I was out in the heat and I almost landed on the floor and I'm having the black spots. And, you know, of course, we're all trying to figure out what it is without going to the doctor or calling. You know, is it low blood pressure? Is it low blood sugar? Or, you know, what could it be? And I called my program and received no phone call back, mind you. And um, basically, you know, thought, you know, could it be electrolytes? You know, what could it be? And so I'm trying to self-diagnose because I can't get my doctor to call or my program. And uh, when I get into the program a couple of days later for my support group, I mentioned again, you know, you haven't called me back. What's going on? Oh, well, it's probably no big deal. You probably just need to drink more, whatever. I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm overhydrated, if anything. So um, no answers there, blew me off. Um, I had told them, and I did go this past Monday to my primary medical doctor for my well visit and had him do my two-year labs. And come to find out, my wonderful 13.5 hemoglobin dropped down to 11.5, which, as we all know, for a female, 12 to 16 is normal. So it's not a big deal, right? But okay, it is. A two-gram drop in a matter of one blood donation and a matter of a week's time was enough to have me symptomatic. Um, so on my blog, if you do go read it, you're going to note I'm a little angry about it. I think I have a right to be because um, there's every possibility that I could have done some damage here. Um, basically, um, what I've done, and um, if you haven't done it yet, you need to educate yourself. Um, wonderful book, Weight Loss Surgery Vita Garden Lab Tracker Workbook, and it's authored by Andrea Sofer Olberg. Um, Andrea and I um, had a little bit of a disagreement. It, several months back, probably about six months ago on Facebook, and I got a little upset with her, and I was like, oh, who does this woman think she is, or whatever. Well, guess what? She's smart. And um, I got this book, actually did an exchange system with her. I painted a painting for her, and in and, and exchange for getting this great lime green, <laughs> lime green, I have lime green pants on right now, I love lime green, um, information, and talking about um, labs postoperatively. Now, being an RN, I understand all of this. Um, the one thing I didn't understand more than anything, and I don't think my program understands totally, is about the iron and about ferritin and about your iron bi binding capacity, your IBC levels. And what should have been asked was not was my hemoglobin, but what was my ferritin level? because I don't know what it was. I know what it was when I had my labs drawn at 12 months, but I don't know what they are at two years. So I might be in doo-doo. Anyway, let me go get that. Those are the cupcakes I'm making for my daughter right now. I'll be right back.